Hey YouTube, I'm doing a Tia takeover and we're back at my house. Okay, this is my digs. Kiwi. Kiwi, come here. Say hi to YouTube. Hi Kiwi. So cute. Very cute. Come here. Oh, Kiwi. Oh, it's so cute. Very nice. So last time we were at my house, it was the Halloween party. I was in between some projects. We were having a lot of fun. I feel like we didn't really get a chance to look through the tank, um, kind of see what I was running. So I thought I'd have you guys here today. We can kind of go through all the changes that I've made, things I've set up, things I've moved around, taken down. And then I also have a cool product review. Hopefully it works. Uh, hopefully it'll be something that we can use in the store and offer to you guys. But I think we should try it first on my tank because my tank is always the guinea pig for everything we're doing around the store. Uh, so let's jump into that. Okay, so we got the macro tank here. Doing good, growing macroalgae as it should be. Um, it's a little safer now as you can see the the power strip is off the back there I know uh, That was something on the list that I had to get done and I got it done um, Not a whole lot crazy going on over here though. The rock flowers are now in this tank, which is really nice. They're looking good um, The the bee words got her <laughs> bubble tip over here. She's so mean. Oh gosh, but she's happy. We love her. Oh Hi Kiwi, you're back what are you doing? Oh, very cute. Yeah, so th this tank's getting an overhaul very soon, actually. Uh, so I don't want to focus too much over here. Maybe I'll update you when that happens, but it's going to be a little bit before that is in progress. So right now we'll just leave it, let it grow, do, it, do its thing. Um, over here before I had the rock flowers were in a tank over here. And that was, that's actually this one that's on the ground. Got a project going on there, always something new going on at Casa Tia. Uh, the trees over here now too, the Monstera, looking good, very nice. Uh, um, so this is pretty new over here. I had made this like nice stand. We have a tank up here now. This is kind of a holding tank for corals that I don't really have room for in the main display. Um, it was kind of something quick. I needed a, something to work on, but there's some pretty cool stuff over here. I have my nice Rhodactus are growing out in here. Um, ooh, urchin, looking good. Oh, there's a big leather back here. Uh, Tyree toadstool, very nice. Mushrooms. Yeah, so this tank is connected behind. You can kind of see one of the return nozzle here. It goes into my sump, which is in the main tank in the stand. Um, it was a nice addition of an extra like 15 gallons uh, to the main display. Uh, the more water volume, the better. Not always, but <laughs> a little extra water volume doesn't hurt. I have two primes on there. Uh, they got moved over from the other tank, this one over here. Um, Truthfully, it's probably going to be replaced by that other tank that I just looked at, but I always need something to, to build and start up and take down, and that's how it goes around here. got to keep busy. Uh, so the main tank got a pretty large overhaul. I don't know if you all remember the, the like three islands that we had <laughs> going on. Uh, it is now one large island that goes from the right side or left side to the left side to the right side. Um, I was trying to kind of, I don't know, how, how would you say it, like really curate the, the corals that I wanted on it. So I was making little sections. So I have my anacropora section here, let them grow out. Uh, my larger polyp hammers here. Get out of the way, Bengai. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's hard to kind of zoom in on them, the fish are in the way, but yeah, so my larger polyp hammers in a garden there. Why are you closed? We're shooting a video. Mm, they're looking good. Lots of gorgs. I think I added like two or three more since the last time you guys were here. There's a lot. You keep going along the acro section. It's looking good. It got some, a little bit of growth on them. Um, it, was, it was a pretty large change with the rocks, so I can't imagine they were too happy with that, but none of them died off, which was probably the most important part, right? Uh, nice little sea cucumber. He's really happy there in the, the high flow. He gets a lot of particles from the water to feed on. Keep going through. Let's see. My Aiken garden's getting a little bit of love, a little bit more love. Nice. Okay. My small branching, my thin branching hammers in the back there. These are my favorite, I actually like these guys the most. Ah, uh, then the froggies and blastos. So I tried to section off everything a little bit better. This is something that I recently added into the tank. So this before was just an open space with some you know, like the maxi mini anemones there, the lobos, a couple things that I have sitting on the ground. They were kind of scattered throughout here, but I thought, why not take all my zoas that I have and collect, and instead of letting them grow through the other corals, how about I cut them down from their like large rocks that they were on and throw them all onto this one rock and let them grow in together. So I'm very excited to see the growth on this. I have a different polyp, couple polyp sizes, the Ked Reds there. They're quite small compared to the Rainbow Incinerators and a couple other the Zoas, but I'm very excited to see them growing together. I think it's gonna look awesome. Nice little cave in this rock too, look at that. So the Blenny's been taking up house in there. It's been really nice. Um. So the main reason why I have you guys here today is because I have a six line that has become really mean. Uh, I know the like, general rule of thumb for six lines and some more aggressive fish is you want to throw them in a tank last. Um, I didn't. He's, um... So the main reason why I wanted to bring you guys home with me today is because I have a rogue six line wrasse. And she's been really good up until recently. Um, she wasn't the last one introduced to the tank, which I know you're normally supposed to consider when having them in the tank, but I've had her for a little bit. She's been following me around through a different, couple different systems. Um, but I wanted to add a trio of Antheas. So I, I got these Antheas. Uh, they're just a liar tail, uh, really nice pop of color in the tank. I quarantined them. One of them sadly didn't make it through quarantine, but I know that's a little bit common for them. So I have a nice pair now, and I, I tried to put them in the tank, and they didn't. Uh, they didn't do so well. Uh, my six line, she got right in there and started beating the bejesus out of them, and I had to pull them out. I tried to catch her first, but I didn't really have. Um, a method to catch her, like I tried with the net, I tried the, the bottle method where you like invert the top of a, a water bottle. It didn't work, uh, so I had to rip the Antheus out. And I really want the Antheus in this tank, and she could definitely go in one of the other two systems that I have, so let's, uh, let's take her out of the tank. Okay, sidetrack, look at this really cool rug that I made. Very awesome, been up to some cool stuff. But oh, back to the fish trap. Let's open it up, check out this product. I, I know this is similar to something you guys might have seen. It's the, the Tank Mates um, bubble trap, fit bubble fish trap. Very cool product. I'm glad there's uh, something innovative for fish traps on the market. I'm glad these guys came out with this one. So I'm really happy overall with these products that are being made. Everyone's getting a little bit more innovative and trying to make reefing easier. And there we go. So here's the two halves of it. There's the magnet that sits on the outside. These clip together. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. A little hard to do with one hand, but I think we can do it. There. I think there's a little, oh. 
part that sticks on the bottom. So we have a pipette. There's supposed to be a little silicone piece. Oh. Might have already lost it. Uh oh. Okay, I think that was a pretty important piece. So there's supposed to be a little silicone piece that sits here to block the food. Oh, there it is. Never mind, I found it. This piece goes in the bottom just to prevent food from dropping out. Um, so we put it in the top and it's not gonna escape through here. <laughs> All right, we got it. All right, I'm gonna throw this on the tank. Let's take the mesh lid off. This was so uh, the six line didn't jump out on her own, but <laughs> uh, it's also for Harold. I don't know if anyone's seen Harold. He's pretty cool. Harold the Hawkfish. Oh, he ran away. There he is, Harold in all his glory. Okay, back to the fish trap. Let's get it in. So I haven't fed the fish for two two days. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand. One sec. Okay, I got it on. <laughs> so I haven't fed the fish in two days just to get them uh, more food motivated. Hopefully it works pretty quickly. I know sometimes they can be a little apprehensive about new objects in the tank, but I like that this one's super clear, so I, um, it's supposed to help with easy uh, acclimation to having this in the tank for the fish. Uh, let's see if it works. I think for the six line, I'm going to need to attach some string onto the end here just so I can sit a little bit further away on my nice little reef and couch and watch her go in the trap fully. So I'm going to attach the string, I'm going to get some food, and then we'll be back and we'll see how quickly we can catch her. I'm also going to go over and turn off my, uh, my flow here. This is my fusion. Let's see, turn off the return pump. I'll turn off all of my wave makers. Um, just so none of the food flies out. I know last time we were drinking wine, today's bubbly. Mm -hmm. So let's go over, put some food in. Let's see who goes for it. I think the fish can usually tell when something's up because I turn off the flow when I'm working in the tank. But I don't know. Maybe they'll be hungry enough where they they won't mind. I think if I put enough in, they'll be okay. I'm gonna go sit and we'll We'll watch and wait. Gonna put a little bit of food in here in the top. And we'll let them kind of get used to it. I have my string attached to it. So I'm gonna leave it off to the side for now. Let them kind of inspect it, see if they're hungry enough to go inside and get some grub. Uh, in the meanwhile, why don't we take a look at some of the stuff that I've been up to adding onto the tank. Um, you'd be really proud of me, a little bit of cable organization. Uh, let's go underneath the hood here into my sump area. Oh, did you see that? Let's take this off. So I did, I did add a light. How cool is that? So I can actually see how dirty my filter floss is, see what my skimmer's up to, see how, oh god. I really need to take some of the chato. <laughs> it's a little overgrown there in the fuge, but yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. That was an Amazon find, just like something a little bit extra to add to the feel of the tank down here, make my life a little bit easier. I don't know if you guys remember the cool little crab that we found, the Mithrax, but it's living, how do we get in there? It's a little dirty. There she is, she lives in my sump. 
She keeps it clean down there. She's doing really good. Uh, that's it. That's all that's new down here. The light's pretty, I'm pretty impressed by that. It, it's automatic, so it comes on when I need it to, and the, the doors are closed. It is USB rechargeable. Um, just trying to make my life easier. Let's close this up. That's all that's new down here. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. So this is the Apex cabinet. And... Ta-da! A little bit more cable management in here. It's looking tighter. Still not perfect, but it's a lot better than what it used to. The dose are up. I'm doing ESV. It's actually down here. So I got my main three. I'm also doing, so this says, <laughs> it says AV+, Plus, but I'm actually using Acro Power in it because I don't have to refrigerate it. So I have AV+, Plus still, and I dose it kind of whenever I remember because it does stay in the fridge. It has to be in the fridge unless you're, uh, like, portioning out a week's worth. I wanted to have something constantly on the tank that if I forgot, it wasn't going to hinder the tank or it wasn't not going to be there. So I thought AcroPower would be really good to put on the system. I do kind of want to try out All For Reef. I, I want to be able to know a little bit more about it, see how it works in the tank, so I can see if you guys could use it better in your tanks. I, I want to be able to recommend something that I've used before, because it seems like an awesome product, but don't really know because I haven't tried it myself. Oh, Kiwi. Hello. Do you like the cabinet? The cable management? <laughs> Yeah, checking it out. Careful, don't get in there, but I think Kiwi. Kiwi approves, right, Kiwi? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, nice cable management. I did um, put, what do I have? I have the ice cap dryer on there. I have the, uh, what is this? Oh my god. The Narrow 3. <laughs> and then a J Bell Wave Maker. Uh, and they're all hooked up to the EB8 now. Uh, so I can control them to come on and off when I'm doing maintenance in the tank or kind of whatever like this. I, uh, you saw it earlier, I went in my Fusion, I was able to turn them off from there. It was pretty, pretty sweet. Um, for some reason I didn't think that like the J-Bell pumps worked, like the uh, J-Bell wave makers worked on the EB-8, but they do, just in case you're curious. Um, that's all. That's all for in here. Pretty cool, nice cable management, makes life easy. Let's see. What am I feeding on the tank? Okay. We have Refroids, um, Vitalis LPS Coral Pellet. I don't really do that one as often as I should, because I do think that this one should be fed like individually with a, a pipette. Uh, no broadcast feeding for that one, so I find myself doing refroids a little bit more. Um, I think Microbacter 7 is probably the best bacteria ever invented. I don't have any scientific proof on that one, but it does really well for me if I'm doing something crazy like ripping out my whole rock work. <laughs> um, that has definitely saved me, and I just kind of throw some in when I feel like the tank could use a boost. No science behind it. It's just just what I do. Tank looks good. I th I think it works. <laughs> um, I do you use these three here? So I have Iodum, Vitality. These are all Aquaforce, and they're Amino Mix. So these ones are every other day for me. I would prefer to do them daily, but you know, sometimes you wake up a little late and you forget to do them in the morning or. Whatever, so it's nice in combination with the acro power. I'm probably overloading on aminos, but you know, that's how it goes. Oh, for the tanks and veggies. Mm. Oh, had a visitor. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna see how this goes. I'll probably have to sit on it for a little bit. Oh. She knows I'm not trying to catch her. <laughs> it 
so we'll we'll give it a little bit. Hopefully, I can catch catching the six line on camera. We'll see what happens. I'll come back and let you know how it goes. Look at this cool starfish. Very cool. Okay, so it's the next morning and uh, I had to kind of leave it for the night. I feel like the fish weren't really used to it yet. Some of them were going in uh, and getting fed in there. So it's a, we needed to let it sit a little bit longer. So I thought maybe we'd try again today. Something cool about today. So you know we live, we're in Canada. Um, Toronto, we usually don't get as much snow as the rest of Canada, but look at this. Look at all this snow. Um, so we're not at Frag Box today because it's a snow day. There's my stairs. You can't really. Oh, okay. Good luck, Kiwi. <laughs> I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> Come back inside. <laughs> so yeah, snow day. So we're gonna catch the fish today, and um, we'll stay nice and toasty, maybe have some hot cocoa, but that's gonna be today. Okay, so I think every single fish that is in this tank has been inside of this fish trap, and it's probably gonna take me a couple more days. I can see the rats like sneaking by and stealing a couple just from the edge, and I don't really wanna pull the trap until She's actually right inside the belly of the beast there. Uh, otherwise, I don't think we're going to catch her because she's so fast. So, maybe we can see this actually in action. Maybe catch one of the other fish. Um, and then we'll we'll wrap this up. I know it's been uh, an interesting video so far. A little bit unsuccessful, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, maybe I'll give you guys an update if I actually catch the wrasse. But... It's, it'll happen eventually. Um, I've tried so long so far. Uh, why not wait another couple days, right? Woo. There it is. It works. So, I'm gonna let Dory go. Poor Dory. Sorry. You're okay. Be released. Alright. Sorry, Dory. Okay, she's out, she's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll set this back up for a couple days and see what happens. Um, let us know if you want access to this, uh, if this should be something that we implement in the stores, a rental process. I know not everyone wants to go out and buy a fish trap. Um, I know I definitely didn't want to buy it just to catch one cheap little six line wrasse. Um, and that's it. That's I'm gonna wrap up today. There's a couple things going on here at Casatia. Have some upgrades, some cool stuff. Uh, but I'll catch you guys back up with that at a later date. Um, thanks for stopping by. And got her. Cutter! Yay! Six, six, nine.